This is a clinical case study of a 66-year-old female patient who received a bone marrow transplant for lymphoma four years ago and has unfortunately had ocular GVHD for two years as a result. Her long-term local treatment involves instilling artificial tears every hour. She also uses moisture chamber glasses. She tried using scleral lenses, but unfortunately this didn't work out. She's come to see you because she's been experiencing inflammation as a result of her ocular GVHD for several weeks. The pain is too much to bear and has forced her to drastically reduce her daily activities. You carry out the clinical examination of this patient. During the interview, when you ask her the triaging questions and look for dry eye syndrome risk factors, you do not find any other identified risk factors. The functional impairment is severe, since her OSTI score is an extreme 95.8. The eye examination reveals limited visual acuity of 2-10 parano 6 in the right eye and 3-10 parano 5 in the left. Intraocular pressure is normal. During the slit lamp examination, you notice bilateral filamentary keratitis of grade 5 on the Oxford scale in both eyes. When you avert the upper eyelid, you find characteristic torsal fibrosis, and you also notice severe meibomian gland atrophy on the lower eyelid. Breakup time is severely altered in both eyes, at 1 second, and Schirmer's test is null. Sadly, the mibography performed with the lacry diag only confirms your clinical examination, showing almost total atrophy of the meibomian glands in this patient. The other images were extremely difficult to take due to photophobia. You therefore diagnose severe mixed dry eye syndrome. There is chronic ocular GVHD with severe meibomian gland dysfunction and extensive atrophy of the glands. On top of all this at present is severe ocular inflammation. The patient is experiencing very significant functional discomfort and visual impairment, with a huge impact on her quality of life. Your aim now is to treat this outbreak of GVHD-related inflammation by prescribing local anti-inflammatory treatment with the short-term therapy of corticosteroids. Due to the need to minimise steroid use, treatment with cyclosporin 2% will also be initiated straight away. You advise the patient to perform eyelid hygiene and continue using artificial tears. She will come back for a checkup in a few days. At the checkup a few days later, her symptoms have improved while on the corticosteroids, with a reduction in local inflammation and a partial improvement in meibomian gland dysfunction. The keratitis is still grade 5 and the meibom is still very thick. The decision is therefore taken to continue the symptomatic treatment, to schedule the introduction of autologous serum and to offer this patient IPL treatment with lacrostim to improve the quality of the existing mybum. Even though this patient has severe mybomian gland atrophy, we can offer her this treatment to improve the quality and expression of the mybum in the few glands she has left. The standard lacrostim IPL treatment protocol is used for this patient. Three sessions on D0, D15 and D45, with four shots per side per session at a fluence of 8 joules per square centimetre. We will express the meibomian glands just after the session. You can do this either with forceps or through direct pressure with your finger. Three months after her IPL session, the condition of her eyes has improved. They are no longer inflamed and meibom quality and expression are much better. The condition of the cornea is also better since the keratitis is improved. It is now grade 2-3 in the right eye and 4-5 in the left. Most importantly, this patient now has an acceptable quality of life and is able to go about her daily activities again. In conclusion, ocular GVHD can cause very severe mixed dry eye syndrome, combining significant inflammation of the ocular surface and severe meibomian gland dysfunction. IPL is a safe treatment that can be offered even if the patient has severe meibomian gland atrophy in order to improve the quality of the remaining meibum.